G'day and welcome to the channel. An exciting video today. I'm actually trying out a camera and lens I've never actually used before. And this is it here. So I've got hold of the Tamron 150 to 500 Sony mount and I'm using the A9 Mark II. So I'm a Canon user, first time using the Sony, first time using this lens. It's about to be released. Um, I would have liked to have gone out to a lake or something, but we're currently in hard lockdown in Victoria in Australia. So I'm gonna to have to spend a few days on my property just photographing what I can. So what I hope to do is just take photos. I'm gonna take lots of photos. I can hear a scarlet robin calling. So I've thrown out a few worms on these rocks in front of me, and I'm hoping that the um, robin will land and we'll get some shot. So I'm gonna try a few different settings. I'm gonna probably shoot wide open. So the wide open on this lens is 6.7. Might shoot at 7.1, f8, and let's just see how it performs wide open and stop down. That's the plan. Here it is, it's here, the scarlet robin's here. Oh, beautiful. What a stunning bird, absolutely beautiful. Hopefully he comes back, but he landed on a rock back here. He, I couldn't quite see his feet, but then he's moved around and we got his feet as well. So an absolutely stunning bird with this bright sort of reddy orange chest. I have been putting a few worms out here on a regular basis to get them coming in. It's just in the front of my house. So actually that worked really well. The focus was very quick. Um, so I'm just using zone AF on one back button and I'm using tracking spot on the other button. Um, and I've got animal eye AF turned on, but I don't think it really works with these small birds because it just can't see the eye. So it's not like the Canon where it just picks up any bird and follows it. Um, but we'll see how these images come out. Just very quickly, uh, it feels pretty good in the hand, the lens. The one complaint I had with the 150 to 600 was the actual throw on the zoom or how much you had to turn it. So it goes from 150 to 500 in one turn, which is good. Um, it looks very similar to the 150 to 600, but it's a completely new lens. It's got a brand new focusing motor. I think the VC is improved. So um, overall, it's a brand new design. Uh, it feels fairly hefty actually for its size. So I think it's roughly the same weight as the 150 to 600, which is interesting. Um, I would have hoped it to be a little bit lighter, but you know, I can handhold it quite easily, no problem at all. So I shoot in manual mode. That means I control the ISO aperture and shutter speed. And I just set the shutter speed based off how much light we've got and what I'm expecting. I'm not expecting any sort of action. So say 640, 800th of a second would be ample. We have got sunlight. So I'll go with that. The aperture that I'm gonna use, as I mentioned, I'll go from 6.7 to say eight, just to test the sharpness. And then I just adjust the ISO on the back control dial of the camera to increase or decrease the exposure or the brightness. Once it looks right in the viewfinder, then I'm happy with that exposure. And so if the light changes, I can just change either the shutter speed or I can just turn the dial for the ISO so I can quickly adjust my exposure um, to get the right settings. We've got fairy wrens here, a little male fairy wren who's blue. Okay, we've got fairy wrens turning up. Fairy wrens jumping around. Beautiful light. Oh, this is beautiful.
about four or five fairy wrens jumping around. It's hard to know what to focus on. All right, we've got some shots there. Uh, I was able to get them on a few different rocks, which is really good. Hopefully those shots come out really well. Um, it's just such a stunning bird. Look, the autofocus is working really well. I'm impressed. Uh, it's very quiet, this lens, and uh, it's just very responsive. So it definitely feels like a step up from the 150 to 600 so far. It'll be interesting to see what the photos look like. You've probably already seen a few, um, and I'm very hopeful. All right, the ferry runs back. It can be quite hard to photograph these fairy wrens because they move around so much. It's a beautiful call. All right, well that brings the session to a close. I've photographed lots of fairy wrens. I've photographed that robin a number of times. Really took lots of photos, and that's all I want to do with this lens to begin with, is just take photos, and see what they look like. I'll admit that I struggled a little bit with the focus of the Sony, because it's a little bit different to the Canon. Just the um, using the zone and the tracking, I couldn't get Animal IF to work uh, like it does on the Canon. It just didn't pick up the birds. I'm not sure if that's an issue with me or the camera. Um, if you've got any ideas let me know in the comments but um, you know the tracking definitely worked and the zone picked up the birds it's just not what I'm used to with the R6 the R6 just goes onto the bird and just tracks it and makes it quite easy I guess I'm pleasantly surprised to begin with because it just feels way better than the 150 to 600 there's just something different about it obviously the new focus motor helps and I think the VC's improved so and I'm confident that the shots are going to be even better so at this price point this could be a really really good lens if you've got the Sony E-mount. Obviously people are going to be asking about comparing it to the 200 to 600 or maybe the 100 to 400 and look I will do a review of this lens later on talking about those issues but so far very very happy with how the lens performed this morning and I'm happy that I got some really good shots. It was nice to be out in the front yard. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to test anything or try anything because as I mentioned I will be doing a review um, in the next week or two and of course if you've got any tips about the Sony let me know but uh, if you enjoyed this content obviously give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and of course thank you to all the members that support the channel and make these videos um, possible so thanks again until the next one take care
See you later. still recording it is <laughs> so the uh, Scarlet Robin just landed behind us as I was doing this piece to camera and I think I got some really nice shots maybe the best of the morning it's funny how that works isn't it <laughs> oh what a bonus all right you gotta love bird photography it's such a high like I've been out here for a couple of hours and the time's just flown by I think it was one degree or something this morning so very cold but I hardly noticed it the sun's up if you're not doing bird photography, you need to. <laughs> All right, see ya. So just while I'm waiting for the birds to turn up, I'm shooting in manual mode. Uh, so I control the aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. <laughs> so that's the plan for this morning. It's just to take some shots of a robin. Take some shots of a robin. It's got a new focusing motor. Some rosellas. It's got a completely new focusing motor.